Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to build a simple to-do application from scratch using Vue.js as front-end, Node and Express.js as back-end, and MongoDB as the database. Here is a demo of the web application. We will first install all the prerequisites. Then we will create the database and objects required for our app. Next, we will create the backend project using Node and Express.js. And finally, we will start creating the Vue.js project. Let's install Visual Studio Code. I have a Windows 64-bit system, so we'll download accordingly. Let's install it. Visual Studio Code is now installed successfully. Let us now install Node.js. First, let us download the installer file. Let's install. Let's verify the installation by checking the Node and NPM version. We have successfully installed Node.js. Let us now set up the MongoDB cluster required for our app. Let me log in to the portal first. We need to choose the free version for learning purposes. I will keep the cluster name as default. Let me create a user account for this cluster.
Let me now create a database and also a collection for our to-do app. Let me also add a couple of notes into my collection. We can get the connection strings to connect to our backend here. We have now set up our MongoDB cluster. Let us now create the ExpressJS backend project. Open command prompt and type the command npm init hyphen y. This will basically create a package JSON file which will be needed to add the other required npm packages for our ExpressJS app. Let us now install Express Framework to create our backend REST APIs. By default, the Express app comes with a security to disable requests coming from different domains or ports. To override this, we need to install another package called Cores. It is not recommended in production. Please only whitelist your familiar servers to access the backend APIs. Next, let us install the MongoDB client. I had some issue with the latest version. So I am using the specific version of 4.1.0. Next, we need a package called Malter to read the request form data. Now let us open the project with Visual Studio Code. We can see an entry of all the downloaded NPM packages here. Let me now create a file. Index.js. Here we will be adding our API methods. Let me import all the NPM packages which we just downloaded. Let us create an instance of the Express app and make it use the cores module. Now let us add the connection string of MongoDB. Let us add the database name for making the MongoDB connection and also instantiate the MongoDB client.
App.Listen will start the Express app and will listen to the requests coming from the mentioned port number. Let us instantiate our MongoDB client here using the connection string and the created database name. Once connection is successful, let us display a success message. Let us check if we are able to make the connection. Just type node space index.js to start the backend server. Let us now add the API method to get all notes data from MongoDB collection. Let's check if this works. We can see that it works and we can see the data from our notes collection. Let us now add the method to add and delete the notes in our collection. We will have a simple logic to auto-calculate the ID field based on the number of documents in the collection. Once added, we shall send a success response. Let us now add the method to delete the give document from the collection. We will be deleting the document based on the ID which we will be sending via the query string. Once deleted, we shall send the success message as response. Our backend project is now complete. Let us now create the Vue.js project. Let's create a folder for our project. Open Visual Studio Code. Create a new file index.html. Now we need to add reference to Vue.js here. We are going to use the CDN version of it. Let us make few changes to it. Let's create add a variable title and display it as a header tag. Let's check this out by simply opening the HTML file. We see that everything works as expected. Now we also need to add reference to Axios JavaScript library which we will be using to call our API endpoints.
Now let us add a method to get notes data from our API. We need to declare an array variable to store the notes data. Let us create a variable to store our API URL. Now let's make use of Axios to call our getNotes API method. Once we get the response, we will update the array variable. Now let's add the HTML to display it. There is a lifecycle method called mounted which will get executed on page load. We will call the refresh data method here. Let's check if this work. It works as expected and we see the data. Let us now add the methods to add and delete notes. Let's add a text box to accept the new notes input. and a button to call the add new notes method. Let's also add a button to delete a given notes. We need to pass the ID of the notes to be deleted. Now let's complete the add and delete methods. We need to capture the new notes entered in the text box. And attach this to form data before posting to API method. Once posted, we will display the message in alert box and also call the refresh data method. Next, let us implement the delete notes method. We will pass the ID of the notes to be deleted in the query string. Now let's verify everything. Let's add a new notes. This works. Now let's try to delete the notes. Delete also works as expected. Our to-do app is now completed.